During a battle between the Avengers and Nick Fury, Nick Fury would come head to head with Thor, and in order to get Thor out of his path, Nick Fury would whisper into Thor's ear that Gore the God Butcher was right. Thor hearing this, he would instantly become unworthy, plummeting to the moon below, and unable to pick up his own hammer. After this, Thor stopped caring about his life and became a belligerent drunk, and would also end up losing the respect of all of his colleagues. And this would also be made ten times worse, because directly after this, an event called Marvel's Axis would occur, where Marvel's superheroes would become their villains. During this event, Thor became a lot more villainous, and even went so far as to abuse Loki. A character that was once highly respected and devoted to preserving life, now became the opposite of everything he believed in, and spat in the face of preserving any sort of life. And as Thor went through a dramatic change, so did Loki. Loki became more heroic than ever and ditched his mischief and lying and scheming and manipulating to become an actual hero. And in response to this, the evil Thor hated Loki more than ever. A chase would ensue with Thor attempting to kill Loki, but Loki would teleport to the moon to try and escape Thor's unending fury. Following Loki to the moon, Thor would shout to his brother that when he finds him, he will kill him. Loki begins to doubt himself and tries to run away at first. Meanwhile, in Thor's search for Loki, he begins to taunt him, saying that Loki is nothing but a half-man, he's not worthy of anything, and that death is coming soon. But in the midst of running away and hiding, Loki stumbles upon Mjolnir and thinks to himself that he can actually beat his brother if he is worthy enough to pick up the hammer. And as Loki begins to grab the hammer, he prays to God that he can actually pick it up, and that he is truly worthy of possessing the powers of Thor. Meanwhile, Thor, unable to find Loki, begins to say that he never loved Loki in the first place, nor did his father and nor did his mother. That is the truth, and Loki has always been a grave disappointment to the family. But Loki, possessing all the powers of Thor, leaps at Thor and says that if that's true, then Thor is an even greater disappointment to the family since he can't even pick up his own hammer. Smashing Thor's face with his own hammer. Thor unable to process the thought that Loki has picked up Mjolnir. Thor says that Loki is nothing but a scheming, selfish coward and he can't believe Mjolnir chose Loki over him. Loki, a villain his whole life and a failure in Thor's eyes, questions why Loki is able to lift up the hammer he cannot. Loki then hits Thor in the face again with his hammer and says it's because he knows what he is and he's trying to be better because of it. Walking to towards Thor seemingly beaten, Loki begins to say that they are more than just villain and hero. They are both brothers and they can both change for the better, as Loki reaches his hand out to Thor to help him. But in Loki showing a little bit of kindness to Thor in the middle of battle, Thor fights dirty and hits Loki in the stomach, and begins to say to a beaten Loki on the ground that it was a mistake teleporting them to this part of the moon, because this part of the moon has air, which means that Thor can control the weather. Thor begins to summon lightning and tells Loki that he will now taste his unending fury. But after being being struck by lightning, Loki absorbs the blast entirely, and Thor utterly confused, Loki says that because he can hold Mjolnir, it means he possesses the same powers as Thor. Then throwing Mjolnir as hard as he possibly can towards Thor's face, knocking him out cold. And after Loki would end up defeating Thor on the moon, the battle on Earth would soon end with the villains reversing everything that had happened. And in the middle of Loki trying to convince Thor to change into a hero again, Loki would start to become less worthy as the moments went on. Until a massive shockwave would blast the two of them, changing their personalities back to what they used to be. Loki would no longer be able to hold Mjolnir. Thor reverting back to his heroic self wouldn't remember the fight between the two that transpired, whereas Loki remembered the whole thing and would even try to convince Thor that he was the God of Thunder for a short time. But Thor would be unable to believe Loki, seeming as though Loki is the actual God of Mischief, and says to Loki that it's just another lie and in poor taste at that. Because Loki must know by now, no one, and I mean no one, could ever believe that Loki could pick up Mjolnir. Ending the story. I hope y'all like this story, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. 420.